for Jethro Hansen after the 0-0 draw with uh, Leamington. Tough game to play in, I would imagine. Yeah, yeah, it was a tough game. Um, I think the Leamington, they started well for the first 25 minutes, but I thought that we rode, we rode their pressure well and then I think the next 20, 25, we was on top and um, thought, yeah, we was on top and had a few chances, unlucky not to score. But yeah, it was a, it was a tough game. Because all the way through the game, it seemed that the defences were on top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they, we rode their pre uh, pressure well, they rode our pressure well. Um, it's kind of evened each other out, basically. So yeah, ended up with a draw. Um, did kind of feel like a loss, felt like we could have won the game, but draw, defences came out on top today. How much are you enjoying it now? Because you seem to be, you know, you've got your position in the team sorted out. Yeah, yeah, enjoying it. Like, um, I had to be patient, wait my uh, for my chance, wait my turn. Um, and then, yeah, so when I got my chance, just tried to take it as best I could. And just, yeah, it's good to be out there helping the team. And normally your role is alongside Ryan Lloyd as sort of enforcing midfield players. Is that how you see it? Yeah, we're the, basically the two pivots in there, just kind of adding protection to the back four and um, just looking to be two pivots to help to get on the ball, switch the play and just yeah, just be the anchors for the team. It's a bit of a change for you. How much are you enjoying a sort of, uh, you know, playing in front of large crowds? Yeah, it's new for me. Like this, the biggest crowds that I've been uh, playing in front of and it's, yeah, it's great. Like you just, as a player, you want to be playing in front of as many people as possible and you know, the supporters are great. You can hear um, the support every game and yeah, just enjoying it. I imagine you've heard about Hereford's exploits as Hereford United in the FA Cup. Um, it's the FA Cup at the weekend, yeah. uh, probably a place nearer to where you came from, yeah, back yeah. in London. Uh, yeah. Do you know anything about Three Bridges? Um, to be fair, I don't really know too much about them, to be fair. But, um, you know, it's, those games are always kind of difficult. Um, I think they're about two, two leagues below. Um, so, yeah, we have to be on it. They're going to be up for it. We have to be up for it. And... Um, just match their endeavour and then I'm sure our quality will show and can come out on top. Because that's, that's the important thing in a cup tie, you just have to try and make sure you get through. Yeah, yeah, most definitely, yeah, yeah. at the end of the day, just want to get through to the next round, just get through. What's your uh, expectations of the season now, nice early days, 10 games in, and yeah. what are you looking for, what are your hopes and aspirations? Um, personally, or... Oh, yeah, yeah, personally. Um, personally, um, just play as many games as possible, play as well as I can. Help the team, obviously. Um, hopefully, if, the, if I can play well, the team can play well, we can win games. And yeah, just, just play as many games as I can, really. Do you feel there's more to come from you once you settle down? Yeah, yeah, most definitely. Just now, um, I think about three, three starts in a row now, so just finding my feet and then hopefully can really start to kick on and put in real good performances. Well, thanks for your time. Thank you very much. Have you played the sort of role you're playing at the moment before? Yeah. Um, I've always really been a holding midfield player, kind of an anchor. So yes, this is really my position that I usually play. Yeah. And what's who's Ryan Lloyd like to play alongside in that role? Oh no, he's great. He's great. He's always talking to me on the pitch, helping me out. Um, easy to play with. Very easy to play with. Kind of got a good understanding of where each other are. I don't really need to communicate too much. Just know where each other are. And yeah, he's great to play with. Because that role can be a bit unsung hero time. It's only when they're missing that you miss them. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 to be fair, it is. That's, I'm used to it. You know, this kind of do the dirty, dirty work sort of thing. And you're not always getting the headlines and stuff like that. But I enjoy the role. I enjoy the role, so it's, it's not bad. Okay. And what attracted you to come to Hereford? Um... Well, I heard that they was looking for a holding midfielder and then I kind of did some research into the club and saw that it was, it was a big, massive club, good following and so yeah, I was more than happy to come, came on trial and uh, done, done well and just, yeah, I was glad to get time. you signed. came in quite early in pre-season. Yeah, yeah, pretty much from the, from the start, yeah, pretty much from the start of pre-season I was in, so. Yeah. How long in pre-season was it before you sort of knew you were joining? Um, I would say maybe about a week or two just before the start of the season. It was, yeah. Okay. Okay. A good confidence boost now going into pre-season now when you're already sort of part of the plan to go forward. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. Most definitely it, um, made me kind of really, I had time to really like research the club, see what it's about and even on the pitch could just see myself playing here. So it was good, yeah. Okay, brilliant.